to my channel it's your girl brady boss here coming at you with another video i just want to send out my thoughts and prayers to anybody who's out there going through something right now it's a struggle for everybody dealing with what's going on in the world i really don't <coughs> excuse me i really don't want to talk too much about it because i feel like everyone don't know the facts and we're still trying to just get through this stuff day by day. So please, if you're not working or doing anything, everybody, please stay home and be safe. You know, I have a grandmother that's in the hospital right now and I can't visit her or anything. And she's 80 something years old. And it's very hard trying to even get through to the hospital sometimes because they're so busy and overwhelmed with what's happening. So, prayers up and thank you to anybody who's in healthcare, who's out here working, truckers, everything for delivering things for us and everything. Because, you know, without you guys, you know, a lot of this stuff would have been fell through by now. I mean, I know it, things are still bad, but at some time, at some point, you know, there is light at the end of the tunnel. And I'm hopeful, like I'm sure many of you are, that things will get better over time and stuff like that. But anyways, I'm not trying to be sour today. I'm trying to be happy and stay in good spirits and stuff. You know, I did my last video and, and that's when kind of everything was getting started with this situation. But today I'm here with you bringing some facts. Ten cost effective ways to take care of yourself while you are at home and for me i look at it like this i'm looking down at my ipad i if you can't get to where you need to get to to get things done for yourself i say hey do it at home because one you're going to save money and two it's easier so my video today is about the 10 cost effective ways to always look put together from home. And with this being said, guys, you are able to do everything you need to do for yourself right at home and I have to pay somebody. Now, don't get me wrong. It's okay with paying someone to do things because a lot of us like to get out of our homes and stuff like that and have that girl time or that me time where you go out and you might go get your hair done and your nails but this is something you can do at home so i said i got 10. first of all you need to know what you are capable of when i say that you have to know what you can do for yourself what can you do for yourself two being open to learning how to do certain things for yourself some people depend solely on others to do things for them you have to know how to take care of you at the end of the day three be productive in finding out if you don't know how to do these things for yourself it's okay to research youtube for instance youtube has everything that you need when it comes to how to's and diy's and learning how to do things for yourself so don't just depend on others to do it for you because times like this, when you're stuck in the house, you could be doing things for self, for to take care of you. And I mean, if you're like me, you'll incorporate if you have daughters, even husbands and sons, if you need some of these things because you can give this off. You can teach your daughters. I have four daughters and three of them are teenage girls. So for me, this is time with my daughters and stuff to share with them so they're able to care for themselves as they continue to go into um, womanhood and things like that and when they have their own children so first things having a basic skincare regimen basic i know there are so many videos that are out here that are solely based on people and all their millions of items what they use for their face and their skin i am one of them i am guilty of 
purchasing things that is for the skin because we want to look young we want to look refreshed we want to look rejuvenated on the regular but you need basic stuff you need a cleanser to make sure your face is getting cleansed you need something like toner to tone to make sure you're evening out your skin tone and things like that and you need moisturizer it doesn't matter how much it costs at the end of the day is that you are following through with completing these things every single day i don't get me wrong like i said the whole purpose of this is to look useful and to care for yourself it helps your skin and at the end of the day you'll be happy with yourself with something as basic as having those three things now if you want to incorporate all the other skincare items that you use do so but at the end of the day those are the major key factors in having a basic skincare routine okay two being able to do your own hair <laughs> Now, don't get me wrong. You see your girl over here has a lace frontal, honey. She does her own hair. She has her own hair and all of those things. But can you care for your own hair if you can't get to the hair salon or to your beautician? You should be able to do stuff yourself. Don't solely depend on somebody being able to put this lace frontal to your head or attach it to your head. You should be able to at least flat iron, do clip-ins, uh, curl, anything, crimping. Every, everything's different. Everything's different now. And of course, if you have natural hair, honey, wear your natural hair if you want to. Everything's not built on, especially right now, being in a house we don't have to have clip-ins, lace fronts, and sew-ins. We don't. We don't have to have any of that. Because at the end of the day, when it's all said and done, can you do without it? Yes, we can. But can you be able to do your own hair? Yes, you can. And if you don't know how to do something, again, Google is our best friend. And guess what? Google will definitely help us find something that will help us when it comes to trying to do our hair and anything else, okay? A lot of people are self-taught. A lot of people go to school for certain things. But honey, if you, you don't know, go look it up and follow the steps. Okay, number three, doing your own nails. Now me, I'm a woman that loves nails. I like for my nails to be done. I like for my feet to be done. Guess what? Knowing how to do it yourself. Do your own at-home manicure and pedicure. I'm sure many women have all the products that you need inside of your home. Right there. Right at the tip of your fingers. If you don't, guess what? Google look into some different things that will allow you to be able to have a at-home pedicure and manicure and if you're not savvy when it comes to doing nails and stuff and acrylics and stuff honey people let me introduce you to press ons honey they have press ons that look like real nails they have uh tips now where you can actually use a press on tip and paint and polish them yourselves you want gel polish order order gel polish have gel polish purchase a few different types of nail polish that you like for yourself that you don't mind wearing until you can get to the nail salon not everyone is into acrylics they have so many different things now that people use with the different tutorials i've seen the apex nails i've seen um gel nails um i like the most recent kind which is the um i can't think of the name of it but i will definitely put the information in the description bar down at the bottom but the point of the matter is 
you can do it yourself. And like I said, if you're not experienced and savvy when it comes to doing your nails, guess what? There are so many tutorials out here from people who are doing nails and DIY and learning on their own. And you have the time. You have the time. I got the time. I have time to do it. Right now, I have all the time to do these things for myself. And five. Nope. Let me go back. Four. Four. Knowing how to manage your eyebrows. Your girl has been letting her eyebrows grow in. We're used to going to people to get our eyebrows done and and tinted and all of these things right now you might not have the time to do that because of the situation that's going on in the world so what do you do you either let your eyebrows grow out so then when you are able to go back out you can have a full brow where you can go to your tech and they can fix your eyebrows to have full eyebrows versus where you got to fill it in with different products and stuff. You can let your eyebrows grow out right now. And then when it's time to go back out, get it done correctly. Or you can follow. They have stencils. They have different things where you're able to follow along with how you want your brows done. A lot of people wear makeup. If you're wearing makeup, you already know how you want your eyebrows done. You got time right now to let these brows go in. And when they grow in, you got time to find the stencil of the type of eyebrow that you want. And guess what? Do what it do. If you don't feel comfortable or confident in doing that, guess what? Let them grow in and just wait till it's time to go to your tech. Simple. My next one is five, shaving and waxing. Now, with shaving, I'm a woman of a particular age. I do have a husband and I enjoy shaving. I enjoy shaving for many reasons. One, I'm not a fan of a whole lot of hair on the body. And two, I have a husband that I like that adores me and stuff. And I like to look good for myself as well as him. So what do I do? I shave every week on Thursday faithfully. Two, I shave under my arms, legs, all of the above. Because for me... That's what I like. For you, I'm not sure. I mean, right now, I don't know for many people it might not matter because at the end of the day, guess what? We're in the house anyways. You ain't got nothing but time. But guess what? When people say, oh, it's so boring and everyone's spending all their time on social media, you can take the time out to pamper yourself. You can do stuff like this right now. You can shave your legs. You can shave under your arms. And what's another alternative if you're not a person that likes shaving? You can use Nair to put on and, and wipe right off or rinse it right off. And it takes the hair off the same way. But we have people that who are sensitive. Some of us are sensitive, like myself. I can't deal with a lot of things on my body like that. So I shave faithfully every Thursday. The other thing that I want to say to some women, let's be real with ladies and women, we all have hair. We grow facial hair. We have the, 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 the mustache going on and stuff like that, especially now, especially when we're not able to get to those places where we want to go to get those things plucked and, and stuff. Well, guess what? Sally Henson has wax strips where you can warm them up, stick it on, and rip it off. There goes the hair. Or you can taser, take a retractable razor and get that hair right off. It's simple. You just have to take the time, which we all have right now, and get it off. All right, girl? My next thing is six, teeth whitening. Okay, we brush our teeth every day. But how many of you are guilty of, especially right now, because you don't have nothing to do and nowhere to go, how many of you guilty of getting up and not brushing your teeth at all? Okay, get up, brush your teeth, use baking soda. 
Baking soda whitens teeth. Baking soda has so many things you can use for. You can use it for lightening the skin. You can use it for whitening your teeth. Put a little bit on your toothbrush with your toothpaste or sprinkle a little bit in and go to town. For me, I have an electric toothbrush, so that does the work for me and stuff like that. And you can also use a little peroxide. Trust me, all you're doing is knocking out all those germs that you may have in your mouth and whitening your teeth along the way. And if you end up needing to go out to go get groceries, remember this. Crest makes white strips, so you can also purchase things like that when you are going out to the grocery store. Don't get me wrong, it's not an essential right now under the circumstances, but if it is something that you need, then guess what? Then purchase it, because guess what? It'll help you at home. You're not missing those things that you need, unless you're someone that needs to go to the dentist for an emergency. My next one is seven. Exfoliating the body. Exfoliating. You should be doing this anyways. If you haven't purchased yourself a exfoliating brush or rag or mitten or whatever it is that you may have, try something like this. Do a DIY body scrub. You can use brown sugar with some coconut oil or you can use coffee grounds. Either one will work. All you got to do is shave that body, get their hair off, and use those to exfoliate to let that baby skin come up, come up and come through. Honey, trust me, if you got a man or a woman, they will enjoy the fact that you feel smooth instead of bumpy. Let's be real. We're here being real. I'm being honest. I'm giving you some tips, okay? My next one is, honey, health is wealth. Let me tell you something. If you're not drinking water, you're not trying to eat a little healthy right now, we just going to pack on pounds and pack on pounds. If you're like me that is trying to lose weight but at the same time have what you like on a regular, you are eating veggies every day, you're having protein, and you're going low on the carbs. Trust me, this will help in the long run and stuff. And if you're not getting out your house hey step outside if you have a patio if you have an in-home gym inside your basement i have a patio because we live here in florida so for me i step outside to get some fresh air i do a little moving around with the little ones and stuff like that that gets the body working and getting the blood and the juices flowing so guess what if that's what you need then I recommend you do it. But you need to know health is wealth, especially right now, being that we are going through something serious right now. And nine, mental health. What I call mental health is me taking brain breaks. Brain breaks is you having a clear mind at the sense of we are going through something very serious in the world. You need to have a clear mind because if you don't have a clear and less cloudy mind under the circumstances, you will drive yourself crazy and make yourself sick. I I get anxiety from a lot of bad things like if something serious is happening and I might need to take a brain break. I use brain the word brain break because this is what I used to use when I was teaching teaching elementary. We took brain breaks in some cases, some people need it more than, more than others because stress is a killer. It will kill people. People have to think about their health. They have to think of their mental state. If you need to take a few minutes, take it in your bathroom. Five minutes to take, take time for yourself. A lot of us are at home with our children. We're at home with our kids, our families, our husbands, our wives, our uh, girlfriends and boyfriends and boyfriends and things like that. If you are at home and you need a brain break, take one in your bathroom. Take one outside and get you some fresh air because some people need it. But this is a part of having that sense of, I need time for myself. I need me time. And some people might not have that. Wait till your kids go to bed if you, you, you're a single parent. 
and then get your time. Hey, grab a glass of wine and stuff like that. But watch the calories because remember, we're trying to lose weight. But I understand. I am a mother. I am a wife. I need time to myself. I need brain breaks too. Don't think for one second that we live in a perfect world where we do not need brain breaks. I need brain breaks. And if you with me, take you a brain break. You know what I'm talking about. And 10. 10. My final words to you is please, please, please make sure you are taking your supplements. When I say supplements, I mean multivitamins. One one a day women's multivitamins, biotins to make your hair and your, your skin glow and grow. Uh, echinacea, it helps build up the immune system and the metabolism. Listen, you need all of this, just like I do right now, especially right now, because God forbid if it comes down where someone has caught what is going around and stuff. Remember, you have family just like I do. So, the best thing for you guys to do is to stay safe and keep it moving. But, that concludes the end of my video. I want to thank everyone who has been following me. I'm growing a little slow, but it's okay because you know what? It's, it's, it's out of love and fun and stuff. And I like to say for everyone to be safe and stay home. Stay home. We want this stuff to go away. A lot of us are ready to go back out and get back to life. In the meantime, I need you to like, comment, and subscribe at the bottom. Stay safe and love you guys. I will talk to you on the next one. Bye, guys.